Look at her, struggling with even the simplest of acts. But she doesn't stop trying. Dear God, what she's done for this family, what she's given to all of us. I'm going to bring you back from this, Stephanie. I swear I will. Hey. Hi. <laughs> now, what's all this? Uh, I'm struggling with the family album. It's a big job. <laughs> Telling me. <laughs> it's my punishment for putting it off all these yeah, years. You see? Hey, yeah, yeah. Well, at least I get to update everything. You're doing so well, you know? Am I? Yeah. Your physical therapist keeps telling me that. I wish I wasn't so fragile. I mean, every time I get upset, you know, my blood pressure just goes right through the roof. I, I, I wish I could handle more. You will, in time. You're right, I will. Ellen? What are you still doing here? I thought you were on the plane to, to Venice with Rick and Amber. That was a mix-up. What? A, a mix-up? What do you mean? Rick left me a note telling me to go to the airport in the valley instead of Santa Monica. So I went there and I waited over an hour and then I called Santa Monica and the plane left without me. <gasps> Ellen, no. I'm so sorry. I don't understand it. Why would Rick tell me to go to the wrong airport? Do you have the note? Yes, it's right here. May I look at it? This isn't Rick's handwriting. What? I could be wrong, but my guess is it's, it's Tawny's. I think she wrote this note. Amber's mother? She tricked me? She took my place? Promises, promises. <laughs> so what's Taylor doing anyway? She's reading. She doesn't look too happy. <laughs> because of us, no doubt. I think she and Rich had a little tiff. Good morning. Talk to me, Rich, okay? Just don't say another word. <gasps> Rick, look! Huh? Oh, we're over land. Mom, check it out. Come here. <gasps> wow. Europe. I wonder if that's Paris. <laughs> Maybe we can see the Eiffel Tower. We're probably flying right over Becky. I wonder if she knows that we'll be on the same continent as her. Do I or don't I? Amber would kill me if I showed up in Venice. I've got to see him. I've got to see my son.
Helen is really disappointed. Really disappointed that she's not going to Venice. Yeah, I know she is. I wish there was something we could do about it. Well, look, we have an evening alone together. Why don't, why don't we go out to dinner? Oh. I think that might be too much. Yeah? Mm. All right, we'll stay in. I'll cook. No, that definitely would be too much. <laughs> Helen's sister's here. She's already fixed it. Okay. Why don't we, um, why don't we call Thorne and have him come over and join us? No? You don't want to do that? Thorne went to Europe with the whole group. <laughs> Best behavior, mister. Until we get to the hotel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, those two really are having a problem. Yeah. I wonder what it's all about. Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, Kimberly. Look, since we're gonna be spending the next couple of days together... No, we're not. Not if I can help it. Look, that is exactly what I'm talking about. You don't have to give me the stink eye every time we pass each other. I owe you an apology. I'm sorry. For pulling a gun on me? Yes, I think that's grounds for an apology. It was never loaded. Oh, well, that makes all the difference in the world, doesn't it? Kimberly, I wasn't going to hurt you. I just wanted to make a point. And between you and me, I think it worked. You want me to stop looking into Amber's past? Snooping around is what you were doing. So that freaks you out enough to pull a gun on me. That really makes me wonder, Tawny. There is nothing we are hiding. Then you have nothing to worry about. That's right. I think my grandson is awake. That's when you pulled the gun on me. What? When the baby started crying. And I went near him. That, that's when he freaked out. I wonder if this has something to do with little Eric. <laughs> that is totally ridiculous. Is it? Kimberly, my daughter and Rick are on their honeymoon. So please, give them some space. Oh, I will. You'll see, I will be very busy looking for answers. And what is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. And so will I. Very, very soon. The train's leaving in a couple of hours. I know. You're doing the right thing, Becky. Am I? Of course. You're his mother. He belongs with you. Things aren't always that simple, Suzanne. When it comes to children, it's very simple. A child needs his mother. Amber is a very good mother. Great, then let her go have her own children. You can't let her keep yours, Becky. You'll never be happy. You know that. The decision's already been made. You're getting on that train, and you're going to Venice. Not much room in there, is there? No, oh, it's not bad. There's room enough for two people. <laughs> yeah, right. You don't believe me? I'm serious. Here, I'll prove it. Whoa. I am so excited. You must be, too. Oh, I sure am. <laughs> I've been talking your daddy's ear off, haven't I? Well, oh. speaking of Rick, where is he? He went to freshen up. Yes. Oh. 
And where is Kimberly? What are you doing? I told you we could both fit in here. Okay, you made your point. Can I go now? I don't think I can move. Besides, it's every man's dream to be locked in an airplane bathroom with a model, huh? Every single man's dream. Look, we better get out of here. I told you I can't move. Maybe if you press a little closer. Amber might notice we're missing. Let her. Look, Amber. I know. I know she pulled you in there. Okay. Okay, let's just go back to our seats. Try that again, and you are too sweetie pie. Ow! Don't worry. I'll cover that bruise up with makeup. Stay away from my husband. Did Macy go with him to Venice? No, no, she didn't. Well, then why did he go? He's not part of the shoot. He felt he should be there. Did you ask him to go? He can make a contribution, you know. Doing what? You're disappointed he's, he's not going to come to dinner, aren't you? Well, you're just going to have to wait till he gets back, all right? Now, you and I have a whole evening ahead of us. We're just going to have to amuse one another. Hmm. Think about it. <laughs> Don't think about it. There we go, gang. Venice. Yes. 120 islands with 177 canals. Venice, the most beautiful and romantic city in the world. There's a biased opinion. You will agree. You will all agree. Venice captures your heart and never lets it go. Mine is ready to be captured. Who's taking us to the uh, hotel? I have arranged for several of my friends who own uh, water taxis. We're going by boat? Yeah. No roads, no cars. Only the sea. Better take your seats and buckle up, folks. We're starting our final descent. I'm not going to Venice. But the baby. Forget about the baby. He's not mine. He's Amber's. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're, you're trying to convince yourself. But, but you can't, Becky. Will you please stop? Look, I've made up my mind. Here, take the ticket back. Maybe you can still get a refund. I'm going to leave this right here. No, uh, Suzanne. Becky, I know in my heart that you have to do this. You have to do this today.
È magnifico! Magnifico! So, Kimberly, the Venetians called this Canalazzo, or Main Street. As you can see, no cars, no motorcycles, just boats. For centuries, the greatest writers in the world have written wonderful words about the magic of Venice. This is a dream come true for a photographer. I, I feel inspired. Venice, Brooke. It's a city of romance. And it's all ours. If only we were alone. Well, we are for now. <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. Scusi, signore! Stop the boat! What are you doing? You'll see. Mom, careful with the baby. Well, here we are, the Hotel Bauer. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. I can't believe this. We are in Italy. Oh, just look at this place. Look at it. It's just dripping with a romance. And we are on our honeymoon. I have been dreaming about this place for so long, and it's finally come true. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you so much. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. Just just forget about them, okay? You're gonna have your own adventures here. I know that I will. And so will they. This marriage is gonna end right here in your country, Giovanni. I'm certain of that. Why did you stop the boat? Because I want to relish this moment. Think of it, Brooke. You and me, alone in the middle of a city with so much history. And we're making our own, baby. We're making our own. <laughs> Hello, Venice! Thorne and Brooke are here from America! Show us your magic! Brooke and Thorne should have arrived by now. You've got to stop them, Rich. You have to come through for your mother. That relationship ends in Venice. <laughs> I love you. 